my head cut off? No. Okay, thank you. Am I in focus? Hey everybody, welcome back to Megan's Table. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my food storage. I used to have it all in here. I have an old video about that. But now I've split it into two different closets. In my guest room closet, I have the long-term food storage that's gonna be like beans and oats and rice and things that, that if stored properly can last like 20 years, 25, 30 years. And in here I have my short term, which is stuff that you regularly get at the grocery store. You know, when you're going to buy ketchup, buy one or two extra, and you throw it in here. And this is stuff that is not gonna last very long, just a couple of years probably, but I wanna be rotating through that. And it has been great for me to separate them just so I can see better, so I can not be buying more of what I don't need and be purchasing what I do need. Like, um, So this has been a good experience to separate those. So let me show you what I got. Today I am going through food storage and reorganizing it. As you can see, it is a mess and it's not even just the closet. Well, okay, I just pulled that out to start working on it. Actually, just have been throwing stuff anywhere and my kids too. We've got pasta here, we got pasta there. We've got pasta there. We just aren't organized. Um, have all my weed up there, toilet paper. So I am reorganizing. This is my guest room closet and I'm sorry y'all, the lighting is not good. But what I've done in here is I have put my long-term food storage in here as well as non-food items. So this has actually been interesting to see that I don't have as much long-term storage as I thought I did. So I'll start up at the top. Up at the top I have rice. I've got brown rice in a bag that obviously needs to be used first because they don't last as long in the bags. And then I've got number 10 cans. I've got a couple of number 10 cans of sugar need to work on that and then in these two tubs up here um, as well as this tub down at the bottom I have my freeze-dried foods I am blessed that I was able to get a freeze dryer I saved up and we were able to preserve our food freeze dry fruits vegetables and pretty much anything you can think of and able to store it for 25 years or store properly so this is just some things I have like nectarines um, apples, different things like that. I don't have them organized as well as I'd like, but for now they're in these tabs. Up here as well, I have uh, kind of like first aid medical supplies in here. That is uh, medicine. So we have allergies, we've got a lot of extra allergy medicine, things like that, that if something happened and we couldn't get to a store, we need those items. Um, and then I just kind of stuck these up here just so the kids can't reach them. Just some extra lighters. Down here I have more non-food items, I have vitamins, and what's been really good is that to organize this I've been able to go through everything and realize, okay, I need to get more vitamins. These are just some non-food items, deodorant, floss, items like that. On the next shelf I have cleaning items, I've got my Tide Pods, I've got um, dish soap, I have the Cascade, I love the Cascade, sorry, um, liquid, these were on sale, these pods, so I got those as well, but I haven't tried them yet. Anyways, just odds and ends for cleaning products on this shelf. This is batteries, I just have it upside down because it is open. Um, let's see, we have hydrogen peroxide, On here is the long-term food storage. This is food storage that I could not touch for 15, 20 years and it would be totally fine. So. Um, I've got kind of a mixture of items here, corn, just different items. Down here, um, this row is flour, all-purpose flour. I have some beans and then all of this back here and this huge thing is wheat. And um, I do have some wheat in the other closet just because it is so high up. I'll show you that in just a minute. So I didn't move it. Like I said, here's the freeze-dried items. And then over here... I have toilet paper. This is kind of this random shelf I have. I just didn't want to move it out of here, so I filled it with toilet paper, toilet paper, and I thought this is kind of a good gauge. If I could just keep this thing filled with toilet paper, then that's good. So when I get halfway down, just fill it back up, and just a good rule of thumb. I have my water bath canner that I use for um, canning items. I have my canning jars, and these are lids for 
the number 10 can. So when you open one of these cans and I take it down to my pantry, this is the lid for it. Um, just some random disinfecting wipes. These are heat cells with a little like burner that I have. I've never used those. Um, I'm honestly not sure if they work. They're kind of old, but you know what? If I try one and it does work, then well, I've used that and it's not an emergency. So, well, I do have other cooking sources for emergencies, but I'll go into that at another video. Down here, I just kind of have a random uh, toilet bowl brush, and right here are paper towels. My daughter really wanted to put this board down. So, under that is paper towels, and now I know I do need to get more paper towels. So, it, all in all, I really have a lot of non-food items from food storage. However, I do need more. Like, I kind of thought I had more of things. So this was really good to just kind of be able to see what I had and know what I need to do and to have an easier time rotating these items. So now I'm gonna take you into my other closet and show you my more short-term food storage. This closet, and I apologize, the lighting is terrible, but you know, this is where it's at. So I'll preface by saying I actually do have some long-term food storage up here. All of that is wheat. That's the newest wheat I have. So I'm going to use that last, and I just didn't want to get that down from, from there. And honestly, what am I going to store up there that I'm using constantly? Nothing, right? I'm not going to get a ladder every time. So just a quick overview of what I have. And up here I have um, plastic bags, plastic wrap. Doing this, I know I need foil, I need... You know, just so I can see what I have. So I've got bags, I've got sandwich bags, I've got gallons of blocks, and I have, um, anyways, those types of things there. On the next shelf, I tried not to put too much back here because these shelves do overlap. Um, just things that I know, like I know my kids are gonna go hunting for for chocolate syrup, so that's fine. Um, right here I have corn and soups and diced tomatoes. Pretty much all my canned goods over here. Actually, that's not true. I have some behind me. I've got pumpkin, I've got veggies, raviolis, things like that. Here I have my tomato sauce. We always have tomato sauce on hand because I use it in like a couple meals a week, even if we make like homemade tomato soup. Um, we just made that yesterday actually for lunch on a Sunday afternoon. We made grilled cheese and tomato soup and we make it with, um, this is the main ingredient. And then down here I have uh, enchilada sauce, which um, I'll take that one out of there, it doesn't fit. Um, enchilada sauce, which I use for enchiladas, and I use for Cafe Real Pork, which I'm actually making tonight. It's in the crock pot right now. It smells super yummy. But anyways, I know it looks kind of sparse down there, and I did that intentionally because I just don't want to lose track of what I have. I want to be um, using up what I have in a timely manner and not um, kind of, you know, forgetting. And then I find things, and they're all expired, and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, so in the middle... Um, up here I have soup mixes, I've got Italian, I've got onion soup, I've got ranch dressing mix. Then up here I have my baking items, uh, Camus flour, cornstarch, all those things for, for baking. Um, sugar, I actually just put these right here because these are not stored, you know, to last a long time. So I'm going to move these down to my kitchen and refill what I have done there. Then we have salt. And these up here are kind of like random. I kind of started from the bottom up, and so these down here are a bit random. I've got raisins, I've got some cake mixes on hand, chocolate chips, and my dough enhancer. So on the next shelf, I have pastas. Pastas are great to store because they last so long. Um, these, like I said, these aren't stored to last years and years and years, but they'll last a long time. So I've got my angel hair, I've got my mac and cheese, I've got lasagna, these are the, oh, is it farfalle? I've got some cooked brown rice, these are not long term, you know, they're just a, a staple like on the grocery store shelves. I've got Nutella and peanut butter, we love peanut butter, and peanut butter is a great way to store protein, and um, it lasts a long time, so that is great. On my next aisle, I have, my next shelf, I have 
spices. Spices are a great thing to store because if I'm getting out my freeze-dried chicken, I do not want to eat bland chicken. Um, these, This is like nothing compared to what I would like to have in here. Oops, there's another taco seasoning right here. So, um, these are basics that we use a lot, thick and pepper, and I have the salt up there if you remember. Lemon pepper and taco seasoning and cinnamon. I've got kosher salt. It's kind of random things too. So seaweed snacks of my kids and things like that. Um, on this shelf I put things, you know, when I come walk in here, these are down low and I'm not going to be seeing this at eye level. However, you can bet my kids are gonna find these. So cereals. Uh, these little like ramen things and granola bars popcorn these are things my kids will search for and so they they will not be lost and not be outdated um, and then down here I have beverages almond milk a cranberry this is powdered milk and the reason I didn't put this in long term is because the way this is packaged I ordered these from Amazon these are only gonna last about a year or so the number 10 cans of, of the powdered milk are going to last a long time. So they're in my other food storage pantry. Um, oils are great to cook with. I have three, three of these and one downstairs. So I have like three and a half of these olive oils. That's a good example of how I spent like 25 bucks on them at Costco. Come to find out I already had some at home because it was so messy in here that I didn't even realize it. So... Anyways, I'll use them. I'll go through them before they expire. However, it's it's a good thing to get organized and know what you have. And then I have wipes back there. So I'm just going to start from the bottom on this side just because um, to go along with liquids, I have my water back there. And I have gallons of water. Um, they don't last very long in those, so I need to rotate through them. In the summer, I like to bring one in the car so everyone has their water bottle and then I can refill it with that. Um, these were all bought pretty much this year, so I know they're still good. And the water bottles we use when we go to SeaWorld or we go out picnics or whatever. And my kids sometimes use them for school if they, you know, can't find their reusable water bottle. Anyways, I am not nearly where I need to be on water storage and that is something I'm trying to work on this year. Um, more canned goods, so I've got tuna, I've got canned chicken, and black olives, kind of random, but you know, I like black olives. On the next shelf, more canned goods. Uh, these are all beans, so I have beans in my long-term storage, of course, dry beans. These are other canned beans, so I've got refried beans and different kinds, and that's my doorbell, I'll be right back. So I've got black beans, which I love. Uh, we've got some pinto beans, refried beans, which I love. I use those two a lot in my lunches because I'm the only one that likes them. Um, up here and here we have like sauces. We have all the, you know, I don't have to read them. You can read better than bouillon back there, which I guess I should kind of have that with this bouillon. So I will move this bouillon back here so that we have them like items together. And um, up here I just have different sauces that I use for cooking, honey, balsamic vinegar, um, things like that that I'm gonna use for cooking. But I went through everything, checked expirations. A lot of foods have best buy dates and of course you can use it after that if you feel comfortable with that. Some people may disagree, but um, certain foods I would never do that. But So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any um, food storage questions, please drop them in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.